Subros is a stock in focus. It's gained most than three months after the company started supplying uh, to, um, from what I hear, uh, truck players as well. So let's discuss this in uh, detail with the company's vice president, Mr. Pramod Duggal, who joins us right now on the show. Mr. Duggal, thank you so much for joining in. Um, Pray, tell us, uh, what is this, if I can, if I can use the term, the new revenue stream that Subros is starting to do? Because you guys have been leaders in, in cars, uh, particularly to Maruti. Uh, what is this new stream that you're trying to develop? Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, see, uh, from 1st January 2018, uh, as per the new notification, each truck is required a blower application. So there's a new opportunity which is uh, available to us now. So uh, this market is around the 300 to 350,000 number. So this is the number which we'll be now taking care of. Okay. So you have you tied up with any players or is this a replacement market or off the market or off, off OEM supplies? How would this be happening, sir? Yeah, this would be uh, supplied by the OEM from the manufactured vehicle from 1st January onwards. So we have tied up business with Ashok Leland, Tata Motors, uh, Suraj Mazda Isuzu and Mahindra Truck and Bus. So this business is already in place. So how many players would be there uh, in this business for now? Uh, I think there are total six or seven. Out of that, we have tied up with five. Okay, and what, what sort of market share are you looking at uh, from this segment since it's new? We already had tied up business for around 70% market share. Mm -hmm. So we'll be leading in this segment also. And are you the sole supplier to all these uh, companies you mentioned? You know, we are sharing some business, but overall we have uh, around 70% share of business. And what's the overall market share currently in the automotive condenser segment where you have presence? Uh, in PV segment, we have around 40% market share. And for commercial vehicle, we'll be touching around 70 And any change that has happened post-GST implementation in your market share? Uh, not significant the impact on our business. And what about the aftermarket in that? Has there been any change post-GST? Now it is uh, getting streamlined now. So initially there was impact of two to three months time, but now it is stabilized. Mr. Dugal, I want to just, just draw your attention back to the, the, the new segment that you're speaking about. Now, yeah. when, when are you already equipped to start delivering uh, from day one onwards or does this take some time? No, no, there was no choice given. So we already started supplying from 1st January 2018 and all supplies are already been uh, realized. So how is this happening? Is it is it enhancement of capacity utilization which is enabling you to do this or or did you have, or are you in the process of now setting up newer capacities for the same as well? No, it, was, it is a mix of that. Uh, in fact, this notification was due from 2000 April uh, 17. Uh, so it has actually delayed for implementation. So we waited for nine months to actually um, uh, making this realize now. Mm -hmm. So we already have capacity set up available. So we'll be utilizing it now. And what would the set capacity? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out if you use the existing capacities for PVs and the same capacities used for CVs as well, or is it a different unit that Subro sets up for the same? I, I'll say that 70% of the capacity is common, 30% would be differential. Okay, and you'd be operating at what? 80, 90% capacity utilization? 80, 85% now. So there's still room to go. You don't need to really set up yeah, a new yeah. plant until you get further yeah, orders. Course. Okay, and if I can ask you, sir, uh, what would be the annual order inflow that you envisage from this uh, process alone for 2018, since you've started from the 1st of Jan? So for the next financial year, we are expecting uh, around 130 to 150 crore uh, additional revenue from this segment. And going forward, this segment has a potential reaching up to 175 crores. And are the margins any different from this segment than your regular business? Not exactly. This all market is very competitive, so, so there's no differential market. It'll be in that range of 10 to 11 percent, what uh, you've of been course. posting so far? Of course. Okay. Yes. Mr. Dugal, the first half, if I look at the numbers, has been pretty good for a company like yours. You've already more than done the bottom line, which was seen throughout the year in FI17. What sort of second half are you looking at when it comes to the bottom line and the top line growth? See, overall, we are expecting a growth uh, which would be exceeding 15 percent. We are uh, expecting 15 to 17 percent growth. So, in the proportion of that, uh, bottom line will also improve. It has already significantly improved as compared to previous years. So, we are expecting the same trend to follow in the second half. Okay. 
please correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Dugal, but if about 1550 crores was your FY17 turnover, uh, is mm. it fair to assume that uh, this new commercial vehicle uh, business, if I can call it, that you're starting off, adds about 10% to overall top line, at least as far as FY17 numbers go? No, and it will remain has constant. Started only for last quarter, so we can take only one quarter incremental impact. For uh, FY18, yes, but for FY19, yeah. it would add about 10% to your overall number. Of course, numbers. of course. Of and course. it would stay That's constant. I'm just trying to figure out that uh, your your 10 to 15% growth that you're seeing in in passenger vehicles is continuing, but you're saying your commercial vehicle contribution would stay constant at about 150 to 175 crores, or even okay. that will show about a 10 15% growth YOI. Of course, that is the true assumption. No, so it will grow over the years at about a rate of 10 odd percent. And that's what I'm saying. It is, uh, it is a true assumption. It would be growing uh, around 10 to 12 percent. Even the commercial vehicles bid, right? Of course. Related to our business. Ah, related to your business, of course. Yeah. Uh, Okay, fair call. Congratulations on this and thank you so thank much for you. taking time out and putting that into perspective. So that's Sue Gross. Well, up 9%, but not without reason. Remember, it's anyways a leader in that whole passenger vehicle segment, yeah. so to say. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fragmented segment, but Sue Gross has 40% stake and they're leaders in supplies to Maruti in particular. And with Maruti's growth, uh, Sue Gross has grown really well. If you bring up the last, uh, whatever, five-year chart, if we can, you will see what I'm talking about. It's just had... A fairly decent steady run has Subros. That's a five-year chart. That's about a 10x jump. So that's a 200% uh, annualized return that Subros has given over the last five years. This is quite stellar. I mean, auto components is one story. To give 200% annualized is a fairly accomplished thing. Over the last three years, about 400% as well. So it's been good going for Subros, really, almost at any point of time. Um, in the last uh, two, three, or five years, for that matter. 344 and counting currently, up about 9% in trade.